Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be talking about this little uh, cool looking saddle horn knife. And um, if you'd like to hear more about it, go ahead and check out the video. This was a uh, gift to me by Andrew at Baxter's Blades. Really appreciate it because I have uh, a couple more in this series, different uh, patterns. But this is the one that he gifted me. And um, he's got a great channel too, by the way. Um, He's one of my favorite channels to watch. I don't know why. He's just kind of crazy out there. You know, he's a former musician. So, you know, you know how those music musicians are. They're just not quite right. So go ahead and check out the video if you'd like to hear more about this. <laughs> Welcome back to the Fortified Castle, where you can find the fascinating, the intriguing, and you can find the truth, and it'll set you free. Because we're going to tell you exactly what these knives are all about. And um, I want to thank all of my viewers for checking in, your likes, your comments, your shares. I really appreciate it. And um, let's talk about this knife. All right, so uh, what you have here is a three and a half inch saddle horn uh, type trapper. I would classify it as a trapper. It does have a spay blade. It has a little different one. We'll take a look at it in a minute. But um, you have a really cool pattern here. Um, I guess that looks like a snake, right? This is called the uh, Cobra um, scale cover is what uh, Frost calls these. This is an uh, Koei River brand, which is a branding of Frost. You get a uh, fluted uh, boast bolster here. Uh, kind of typical what you see coming out of uh, Frost. Uh, overall, really pr pretty good build on this knife. Um, you got brass pins, brass liners on it. There is a little bit of gap in here. Where is it? About from right here to here. A little bit of gap. And hard to really tell. This is a used knife, so it's hard to tell whether that was uh, from the factory or not. I don't see any bends in this, so I think it probably is from the factory. You can see the centering there. The termination points on the uh, back spring look fairly good they're not completely even across there but not bad and uh, this is just acrylic over uh, what I call wallpaper and that's a cobra wallpaper that's my uh, cobra sound if you didn't pick up on that and um, there's the Akoi River that is a little fly so you can see it in the emblem better for a fly fisherman the Koei River is a river in uh, Tennessee, and I guess it's known for fly fishing. It's also known for rapids, so you can go up there and you can go rafting, uh, which I have done, and it's pretty cool. Uh, check out the edge. Where is it? Come on. There you go. So you can see the edge right there. Fairly good. It kind of sways out here a little. Just a little bit. Look at the other side. Boom. Looks pretty good. Not completely perfect. Pretty good. Snap in. Very nice uh, transition there. Perfectly smooth from the blade to the back spring. Let's see. No... Look at that. That tip is stout. Look how 
stout that tip is. It's gonna resist the uh, break in there. All right, swedging. I couldn't remember what I was trying to say. Didn't have any swedging on it. There is your main blade. The other one was a skinning blade. Attractive looking blade on there. Um, really, really stout uh, walk and talk on this thing. Let's see, there you go. So you can see it's a little wide at the bottom here. Thins out. It stays kind of consistent all the way around. Looks pretty consistent to me. Um, really sharp. 440A, I believe, is the steel in this. Let's listen to the walk and talk. Wow, slam! Hard to pull open. I put that at a good 7. Need a little help to pop that in. So, um, yeah, it's a good walk and talk on this thing. Very stout. Listen to the other one. Little dull thud. Nice. Okay. Let's pop her open, look down into the throat, and then we'll let you go. Thing is stout and when it hits that point boy it just takes off inside is pretty clean looking not perfect not mirror polished okay pretty nice little knife um, I think these the other patterns that I bought I bought two of them at the same time uh, and they were nine dollars each so I imagine that's probably around what this uh, cost right there nice little knife for the money these things I've, I've got some older frost and I have used them and carried them and they hold up just fine so um, you know they're just little beater knives I guess but if you like collecting um, unusual stuff which I do you know that's what Frost is good at. All right. Thanks for checking out the video. And I'll see you in the next one.